Welcome back to Ogner's Reviews. This right here is our M4A1 Gel Blaster. We will show you how to assemble it step by step. So let's go to our main video right now.
Okay, so basically, you can mix and match with all the accessories included. So as you can see, my combination here on top. So they just go to the one whole rail on the top. So that's like one, two, three, four accessories there. And one on the left side. So we have the forward grip on the lower part of our gel blaster here. It also folds like so. So you can tuck it away like this. So that's on the lower rail here. Okay, so this one is the flashlight right there. And this one is the red dot there. And we have scopes here. Let me just show you the parts of the, the basic parts of our gel blaster. So this one is where we put in our magazine. And this is the trigger. And this is the safety selector. So that's choosing safe. Click it for semi-auto and then one more for automatic mode. So keep it in safety. The other side, we can find the mag release button right here. A similar diagram of our selector from the left side. Okay, so, so for the end part of our gel blaster here, you'll find the connector to our battery. The red and black wire right there. And here is our stop, which we will be connecting on the end right there. Remove this part by pressing on this, pressing down like so, and then you remove it. The black part here, wire connector for the battery, push it inside that slot, like so. Find the grooves here and match it. So there. You see our battery connector is already through our attachment here. So what you do to lock it is you twist it like so. There. So now that it's locked, you now put in our battery before we connect our actual stock attachment right here. So here's our batteries. We already charged this 100%. So this one is the charging port. And this one is what we will connect to our gel blaster. This black connector. So we connect it like so, just line up the pins. I stand corrected, you should insert the battery first on the stock part, the black part here, before connecting the terminals here, so that the battery will be safe inside our stock like that. And then we will be attaching the body of our stock. And that is locked inside. To adjust it, just push down here and find how long you want it to be and that will lock in the same manner. If you want it longer, you can adjust it like that. So stock connected, battery connected, we will now move on to our actual magazine so we can try to fire our gel blast. Okay, so now we test our FPS using our chronograph. So we're just going to use the semi-auto. Now we're on semi-auto. Let's do this. Okay, now let's test our accuracy. I'm going to be firing around 1.5 meters away from the target. Let's see how we do. First, I'm going to use semi-auto. Pretty accurate, I would say. 
Let's try firing on full auto. Okay, target's reset. Let's push this to full auto. So that was full auto firing right there. Demolish the targets. I'd say that felt good. Now let's try the red dot. Okay, targets reset. We are going back to semi-auto. There we go. And we'll turn on our red dot. There we go. So as you can see guys, that red dot sight, not really that effective, but you can see that this packs a punch. So now you see the power of our Emperor A1 Gel Master right here. So there you go guys, with our quick unboxing and review of the M4 A1 Gel Blaster. First off, there's really a lot of accessories included on the package as you have seen on our video. So there are a lot of options in terms of scope, red dot, some silencers as well. The magazine of course is included. You also have a strap and I think some safety glasses, right? So those are all included. Oh wait, there's also a lot of free water gel beads so you can use the blaster right away just need to charge the batteries and just need to soak the gel beads three to four hours on water and then you're good to go this out of the box you can play with this gel blaster right here so that's absolutely awesome there there are some some cons as well sometimes when you fill the magazine up with gel beads even though it's already full and up to the limit it still sometimes misfires our version right here of the gel blaster does not have a primer so those blasters with primers on the actual blaster they use magazines with motors on them which pushes the gel beads out the version that we have right here does not have a primer and we use magazines without motors the red dot sight, based on the firing session we, we did, was really way off. So I advise you to just change that if you really want to use a red dot. There are a lot of options online, so you can simply replace that with an accurate one. But in terms of power, this guy right here is really good. We were really impressed with the power that it has. We also like the blowback effect that we got from our purchase here it adds to the experience and to the fun of playing with a gel blaster so i think for the next video we will try we will try to gather up some accessories which we can utilize for this version of our m4 a1 blaster stay tuned for that one that should be coming up as our next video we will assemble test and join them with you guys so that will be on the next video so once again if you have inquiries or questions about our m4a1 gel blaster here please leave a comment down below and we will try our best to answer any of your questions so there you go guys please do not forget to like and comment on our videos if you haven't subscribed already please consider subscribing to obnercy views click the notification bell select all You'll get notified when we upload another one of our blaster reviews right here as well as our usual video uploads also follow us on our social media links right here you win perfect and that's been it this is a mess reviews and i'll catch you guys on the next one <laughs>